Hello everyone, my name is Cheryl and I am making a how-to video on zines. So, what are they? Zines are similar to magazines. They may follow a certain type of genre and they're similar in the fact that there is a wide variety of them. The key difference is that they are made independently or are self-published. Here are some examples of magazines that I have to compare the difference between a magazine and a zine. So first I have a cooking-based magazine called Lucky Peach. This is an apocalyptic edition that they did several years ago, and what I liked about this magazine is the quirkiness of it. Not many food-related magazines try to follow a theme like this, and the visuals are also different in a way that's kind of charming and unique. Another magazine that I have is one about basketball culture. Now, I would personally say that Franchise is a lesser well-known um, company compared to other basketball magazines, but it is still a company nevertheless. And I really like this magazine because it's very clean, it's very modern, and they just take a lot of really good shots, like basketball shots. Some in midair and even have one of a Barack Obama, which is really cool. Next, showcasing a more international magazine is one from Japan. This is a Shiba dog magazine, since Shibas are super popular in Japan. And there's a lot of articles about how to groom and clean in this issue. And uh, there's also even funny photos of Shibas, which makes me really happy. <laughs> now, here is an example of a zine. This one was actually made by a club in the University of Washington by Asian Americans in Media. This was their first edition made in 2019, and this issue was a dedication to Asian American parents. And it's filled with a variety of articles relating on what it's like to be an Asian American and the kind of lifestyles. I think that this is a very aesthetic zine and is on par to many magazines that we see today. So, after seeing all those texts, it may seem intimidating to make a zine at first, but I'm here to help you kind of give you like a basic zine that anyone can make in the comfort of their own home. You just really need a piece of paper and pencils and color pencils or whatever you want, and just like scissors or even an X-Acto knife. You're going to fold your regular A4 paper in half three times, so that in the end, you have eight rectangles when you unfold it. After unfolding, make a cut in between the paper as long as two tops of the rectangle. Now is the weird folding part. <laughs> you kind of want to make the paper fold onto itself and so it's in a way that it just makes a booklet. And now you have a booklet. So my theme for my zine is going to be a tiny museum of shapes. I just think that taking some mundane things and kind of showcasing them in a way that's, you know, not really giving a lot of attention or, you know, it's kind of unique. It's, it's fun to me. I'm going to be painting my zine using some gouache. I really like how vibrant these colors are and I wanted to use them. And from this point on, I would say there's not much to say. I would advise just to take wherever your creativity takes you, and it's really okay to make some mistakes. I certainly made some in my zine. Here's my final product. I have the squares, the circles, and I tried to make a playing card for the rumpus. I thought that that was kind of cool, maybe. <laughs> I really like the triangle section because I, I think it really show emphasizes like the tiny shapes in the museum of tiny shapes that I have as my title. Um, actually, I would love to redo this zine again and kind of just follow the same style. And, you know, that's the beauty of a zine. Like, you know, it's it's not really high stakes and you could easily reiterate it and kind of find your own kind of style. And it's really fun if you let loose and be creative and do whatever you want.